Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Aloha and mabuhai. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, and I want to welcome you to another edition of Pinoy Power Hawaii. But before we do that, I'd like to thank again the, the wonderful staff of uh, Think Tech Hawaii for their wonderful support and for allowing us to uh, have this show to uh, cover the uh, topics and concerns that affects uh, Filipinos in Hawaii. Today we have a very special guest, and uh, she is uh, she's a lady of all trades if I may call her that. Uh, she is related to me, and it is a pleasure to have with us Leilani Arambuyutan Tanaka. So, Cousin Leilani, welcome to uh, our show, Pinoy Power Hawaii. Aloha and good morning, Ms. Emi Manangko. Thanks for having me here. It's a pleasure and honor. Thank you for uh, taking the time to join us. I know that you have a full plate and a full schedule, uh, but I couldn't wait to share your very empowering and inspiring story. So uh, let's begin by uh, telling us a little bit more about you so that we could uh, get to know you a little bit closer and personal. And if you need to speak Ilocano, you are entitled to do that. So go ahead, tell us your story. Yes, it's my pleasure to share my story for everyone. I came from a poor, simple, but hardworking, humble, and a God-fearing family. And my mom, as the eldest, because of poverty, she has to stop going to school at the age of 12. Mm -hmm. So she just finished intermediate. And at that age, she had to help the whole family they were farmers, so she had to go to the farm with the family, mm -hmm. with my grandparents, and uh, harvest. And at the same time, they go to the wet market and uh, sell all these veggies. Mm -hmm. So um, instead of going to school, she did that for a long time long time. She never went back to school. Mm -hmm. So, nagbalin nga, nagtaltalon? Nagtaltalon. Oh, Ititawin it, na nga dose. Yes. Mm -hmm. And would you imagine, Kazin, um, so there are eight in the family. Wow. Yes, four girls and four boys, mm -hmm. and she is the eldest, so she has to do everything and for survival. Yes, the burden uh, yes. fell on her of yes. taking care and also helping uh, the family. Yes. And indeed, she did that uh, to survive with the whole family and the siblings. Mm -hmm. At an early age, she was employed as a sales lady and a housemaid at the same time. So that, that, that's like a double job, yeah? Double job, mm -hmm. yes. And so um, she had the dream to be determined and fulfill for the whole family. Mm -hmm. So she started um, small kitchenwares and glassware business mm -hmm. with her experience. And uh, she was able to uh, make it at an early age. With her determination with and her hard determination, work. With her determination, yes, yeah. with the help also of the siblings, yeah. So all the siblings went to help her out mm -hmm. with the business. So it became a family affair. Yeah, so, it was. Um, is, is your mom your uh, role model for your success, uh, being that you watch her grow up and struggle? Yes. And uh, from uh, poverty, she was determined to make it. Yes. She is indeed my inspiration to work hard mm -hmm. for the betterment of the whole family. And um, I grew up in the farm with my grandparents, of mm -hmm. course. We live uh, with the whole family, the whole family of my mom. And uh, I went to the farm with my grandfather, mm -hmm. Ricardo, 
agmoriski kami, mm -mm. Uh, garado kami, mm -mm. agnateng okay. kami. We harvest all those veggies yeah. and and uh, go to the wet market and sell them too. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, we were doing the business of my mom. And then um, along the way, my dad came and he was a troublemaker at the age of 20. Mm -hmm. They got married really early, 1972. And I was the first fruit of their love, 1970. So you're also the um, eldest? The eldest. Okay. That's why mm -hmm. I am more inspired and challenged with the life that we had in the past. So uh, listening to your story, just like history repeats itself, being that your mom was the eldest, she was a burden with the responsibility of uh, making sure that uh, the family of eight succeeded. Yes. And in your case, you're also the eldest. So mm -hmm. you can uh, relate to the struggles and uh, all this uh, hardship that your uh, mother went through. And in your uh, life, it sort of mirrors your, her life mirrors your life. It's a true story, Kazi. True story. Yes. Okay. I was really, really inspired. Um, our, of course, our show today is titled Second Chances, mm -hmm. being able to uh, have the second chance at life. Kasla, that they panakariing when no awakening. Right. Yeah. And, um, uh, let's uh, move forward a little bit from uh, your uh, uh, really hard upbringing. So, yes, uh, so it was a hard life in the beginning, mm -hmm. but because of the hard works of my parents, we were able to survive. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm so blessed and thankful for my mom and dad for that uh, hard works that they gave to us, all the sacrifices. My dad also started to have his tracking business along the mm -hmm. way with my mom's business. So she boomed her business into five branches of the kitchenwares and glasswares, and she named it Edita's Glassware and General Merchandise. Mm -hmm. So you grow up uh, watching your mom work hard, uh, yes. and uh, eventually that uh, family business grew. And today, your mom is still very successful in uh, doing that. Yes, she mm -hmm. is, and we were able to um, survive survive uh, with that. With her ingenuity and entrepreneurship, right? Yes, and it made my dad realize mm -hmm. the uh, importance of, of, uh, of uh, having the determination and uh, perseverance, yeah. And working because together. Because he, he was a troublemaker mm -hmm. in the past. Yes. Yeah. So uh, he uh, woke up. Yes. Nag Nagriing. Yes. Uh, naputi, because of my mom. Uh, yeah. Inspiration can get the adung uh, example. And the uh, mom, uh, kaya na aloko iti Rick Nana. Uh, he was able to um, uh, better himself yes. by the wonderful examples of your hardworking and industrious mom. Yes. That's why he was uh, usually tell about us every time. Oh, don't do that, uh, you know, make your mom your model, mm -hmm. because she is, and up yeah. to this day she is. I can relate to that, because my mother was also, uh, she's the reason why I'm here, because of her determination. Yes. And as a single mother, uh, I am so appreciative of her resilience, her determination, right. her will to want to succeed. Um, in light of poverty, we survive. Mm -hmm. So let's fast forward, um, you know, uh, since uh, life was very difficult in the Philippines, uh, you had a dream. I had a dream. Well, that time I, I finished a Bachelor's of Science in Pharmacy. Mm -hmm. um, along with my siblings, they finished also college, yeah, and I was able to work first in Lawag City as a pharmacist. And in a few years, I started my own business. And mm -hmm. I called uh, my drugstore, Lay Pharma Drugstore. Mm -hmm. And I, it lasted for eight years. Uh, very successful. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, and then I got married. OK. All right. And then um, I didn't realize that when you get married, there are a lot of things to consider, and 
a lot of experiences that you don't expect mm -hmm. that have come along the way. And it melted my heart, especially when um, my other half mm -hmm. turned himself into a womanizer and a, a drug addict. And I gave him chance many times because after all, I chose him. Mm -hmm. I was 27 when I got married and I thought it was the best mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the right age to get married because right you were too young yes yeah if you're mm -hmm. too young you cannot if you're too you know too old then it's gonna be too sometimes too late too late then you won't see your kid children if you would have kids or mm -hmm. not you know mm -hmm. well um it was hard and then um there was a time also that um my pharmacy mm -hmm. um, business became so slow because of the construction of the new public market in Batak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was blocked with all the construction, like the one going on right now. <laughs> I know you can no, relate to yes, the I rail. Yes, I can relate to the sort rail. Of, and yes, it's, it's really going on right now mm -hmm. with all the businesses closing in town. That was that's what happened to me. Yeah, so and I had to um, think of other ways to yes, uh, move forward. Move forward. Yes. Okay. Although it was hard for me because mm -hmm. I have children. I have uh, two children at time, Matthew and Zarlene. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was also having my third pregnancy, Li Yen, my third baby. Mm -hmm. I was uh, two months pregnant. But I had to do something, and it was so quick enough mm -hmm. that my um, working visa was approved to come to the USA. Yeah, as a professional, you saw that this was your ticket to uh, come to Hawaii mm -hmm. uh, to improve your uh, way of uh, living. Right. So uh, tell us tell us about that. When I came first to Hawaii, so I came earlier than my contract. So I uh, landed to Honolulu first to see all my relatives, mm -hmm. the Domingos. Of course, your partner. Yeah, our relatives, <laughs> okay. I, I mm -hmm. hope I met you back then, <laughs> Manang Amy. And so I had all the welcome party and everything, yeah. So I had that, uh, like mm -hmm. a tourist kind uh, welcoming and everything. That was in 2005, and uh, I thank everybody for that. And then I, to wait my uh, contract there in, in the mainland, mm -hmm. California, I had to work for a living, mm -hmm. and uh, I worked three, four jobs at the time. I was a secretary mm -hmm. of Forex Cargo. <laughs> I was uh, a cook, a waitress of this uh, grill restaurant. Okay. I was um, a salesperson all the way to Palolo Valley, and I have to catch the city bus. Mm -hmm. And my big tummy, and you were pregnant, and, uh, and pregnant, and I was uh, doing like this in the bus with everybody. Oh, manlang ti mangi patugaw ka. So I experienced a lot of hard work mm -hmm. in here. Um, I think it's because you want something to happen. That's why you have to take everything. You want to make things better. Yes, make things be better. And then okay. I had to move to uh, California and do my pharmacy job. Well, hold that thought for a moment. We will uh, be right back here at Pinot Power Hawaii. Our topic for today is Second Chances. We're having a conversation with Leilani Arambuyotan Tanaka. We'll be right back. Hello, I'm Dave Stevens, host of the Cyber Underground. This is where we discuss everything that relates to computers that's just kind of scare you out of your mind. So come join us every week here on thinktechhawaii.com, 1 p.m. on Friday afternoons. And then you can go see all our episodes on YouTube. Just look up the Cyber Underground on YouTube. All our shows will show up. And please follow us. We're always giving you current, relevant information to protect you, keeping you safe. Aloha. Hello, 
My name is Stephanie Mock, and I'm one of three hosts of Think Tech Hawaii's Hawaii Food and Farmer series. Our other hosts are Matt Johnson and Pamai Weigert, and we talk to those who are in the fields and behind the scenes of our local food system. We talk to farmers, chefs, restaurateurs, and more to learn more about what goes into sustainable agriculture here in Hawaii. We are on at Thursdays at 4 p.m., and we hope we'll see you next time. Welcome back to the second portion of our show, Pinoy Power Hawaii. Our topic for today is uh, second chances. Uh, again, my name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, the host for Pinoy Power Hawaii. Our guest is uh, my cousin, uh, Leilani Arimbuyutan Tanaka, formerly of Batak Ilocos Norte. So she's sharing with us her struggles and uh, her uh, trials and tribulations and how she ended up uh, coming to Hawaii uh, to live the American dream. Um, it didn't come easy, uh, because listening to uh, the story she had just shared, she landed in this uh, foreign land and uh, determined to make it work. So uh, you had three jobs, right? Right. Uh, from uh, 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 packing cargo boxes, uh, which is common to Filipinos, and then waitressing. Uh, the other one is sales lady. Uh, a sales lady, and on top of that, you were pregnant with Ian. Yes. So, and you didn't drive, so you no. were relying on the city transportation. Yes. Uh, pregnant and all. Uh, sometimes the bus is so crowded that you have to stand with your big tummy, right? I did yeah. that. So you did all that struggle, and you you probably didn't think that you would uh, suffer or go to those trials because you know hey you're in Hawaii paradise right the yes. land of milk and honey so things are supposed to be a lot different a lot easier here in Hawaii so uh, continue and uh, tell us about your journey. Well, cousin uh, was in California with my pharmacy job because mm -hmm. that was the job offer there. And finally, my my in-laws who were living in Kailua Kona mm -hmm. invited me to, to you come back. Come in Hawaii, Kona, mm -hmm. and we can take care of you mm -hmm. a lot better. You can save money, mm -hmm. and we have uh, your dad. Uh, he can take you to work and mm -hmm. everything like mm -hmm. that. So I uh, was able to transfer, and I work in. Walmart Pharmacy mm -hmm. as a technician too. Mm -hmm. And uh, along with that, I also work at the same time in King Kamehameha Hotel. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And at night, I work in the Ohana Cash and Wear. So I was working. So uh, again, you came back to Hawaii and uh, <laughs> I work at a lot still of working uh, numerous jobs to uh, make it. Yes. On top of that, uh, you know, thinking that you're going to have an easy time, uh -huh. uh, you had to do other things in, when you got home. Right. Right? Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Well, um, going back was uh, very um, stormy. Mm -hmm. I was living with my ex-in-laws, and um, my mother-in-law would... Uh, always ask me, Anatisidata Lani. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. would ask me what to to eat today. Mm -hmm. That's every day, you know. And then I go right away to the kitchen and wear Your my apron. apron. Uh -huh. And good enough that my father-in-law would be there to help me mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. But that was the daily task mm -hmm. of me with her. So, in other words, um, for, you the, were, for one year, yes. you were like a Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh. I could say I was a Cinderella. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I, I would do that because they're old and I want to help them too. But mm -hmm. then there were a lot of times that she would treat me really unruly and I cannot mm -hmm. take it. Um, she would uh, blame me mm -hmm. with all this. Um, with all these problems of my your marriage my uh, my marriage mm -hmm. yeah because that's the mom of my my husband mm -hmm. and um, there was also a time that she was belittling my mom she mm. was talking behind me 
Right. And uh, telling people that true enough that my mom, mm -hmm. would you imagine, my mom was employed to them, to her. At she, one point. She was the one. Mm -hmm. She was the owner and, ma and manager of the store that my mom used to work for. Used to work for. Oh, okay. When she was young. That's All why right. she was telling, Deta Edita. Mm -hmm. Nakabakbak ng meten, katulong ko lang Deta Edi. Wow, like demeaning her, right? Yes. Yeah, putting her down. Yes, mm -hmm. and I was, you know, I was teary-eyed mm -hmm. when I learned about that through my friends. Mm -hmm. You know, my friends in the coffee farm. Mm -hmm. I used to pick coffee too on Saturday, Sundays, and my off. Malam lamu ka kasin. Mm -hmm. So, I talagang uh, nagrigrigat ka. Yes. Uh, so, again, I understand all your hardship and all uh, these trials and har hardship that came your way. Let's fast forward uh, because today I want to focus on your success as. Uh, uh, as the owner and manager of Life is Music, and you also uh, have a, foster, a care home, uh, Blossom Foster Care. And all these are part of your success, part of your awakening, uh, part of you being given the second chances. Uh, l let's talk about your uh, values as to why you became so successful that people come after you and ask you for your services. Well, thank you very much, Kasin, and you're part of this success. I want to thank you personally, because you were there when I was starting, remember? Mm -hmm. You would take me to all these places and meet people that this lady can sing, can entertain mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And I was having a good time with you that time, and thank you so much. Oh, well, we are happy that. Yeah. that you found your niche. <laughs> yes, because uh -huh. I was also mm -hmm. uh, given a chance to have a show mm -hmm. at KPRP Capamilia. Yes. I was um, doing the Lehua Blossom Show yes. in yes, your yes. major station, and the most powerful. Mm -hmm. Uh huh, and thank you. It it really helped a lot, and I, it inspired me that you're here. Um, your persona did a lot for me also, cousin. You mm -hmm. don't even know about that. <laughs> My queen. <laughs> well, you are very, very successful, uh -huh. and I'm so happy for your success. Um, and your children are here now. Yes. So that's yes. part of your uh, happy ending, that you were able to unite your family together because of your determination, mm -hmm. uh, your willingness to work hard uh -huh. and uh, take take on these jobs, mm -hmm. menial jobs, but right. they help. Uh, they're a, a very important part of your success. Yeah. yeah, and you, you 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 weren't picky. Uh, you were able to complete uh, this job because it was a very uh, important aspect or integral part of your success and your well-being. Mm -hmm. And by hard work, uh, your uh, three children are now united with you. Yes, thank uh -huh. you so much. And um, well, I have to uh, flash back a little bit. Um, so I, I was divorced after mm -hmm. those um, the failed marriage, yes. and uh, okay. I didn't realize that I would do that. But mm -hmm. it was my dad who convinced me, what are you doing to your life? You're right. not getting any He woke longer. you up. He woke me up. Mabaling ka nga ipatak daranti mo naman mo anak ko. That's what my dad right. told me. Right. Because, hey, wake up, eight, eight years of marriage, mm -hmm. it's not going, it's not going. Right. You're the only one supporting them. Mm -hmm. You're, he's not en making any money. Right, right. You know, I was just So you were the sending, main breadwinner, kept yes. sending money to the Philippines? He would ask me, mm -hmm. can you send me every week? Mm -hmm. Can you send me every mm -hmm. week? I have mm -hmm. a lot of receipts until this day. I think I still have mm -hmm. those receipts. Mm -hmm. A lot, cousins, and... Um, it made me realize mm -hmm. that this is the time to change everything for mm -hmm. me. Although I'm not, I'm not in my twenties, thirties already. Mm -hmm. I'm, mm -hmm. you know, I'm in my forties, and uh, so I went ahead and did my divorce with him. Mm -hmm. It was so very hard for me to mm -hmm. open up to my children, right? And up to these days, I <laughs> kind of get teary eyed. Yes, yeah. because nobody wants. A divorce, right? Yes. Right. You would always certainly 
want to unite with that person who broke your heart, but it, it's just enough. It's enough. Mm -hmm. It's hard to turn back sometimes yeah. because of all the uh, the hurt, yeah. um, all those uh, uh, hurtful things that's uh, been done in your life. Sometimes you yes. cannot take back. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. So let's fast forward again, and uh, you met a very special man, <laughs> and I can uh, uh, say that because you work hard together and you blend well together. He's very supportive of what you do. In fact, I believe you convince him to join you in the business that you're in. Tell us quickly about how your uh, very wonderful marriage is working, along with uh, Stephen being such a wonderful father figure to your children. Yes, um, right now I am happily married to this guy, Stephen Tanaka, and he's so awesome, very loving, considerate, mm -hmm. supportive, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and everything that you want to see to him, he has it. Mm -hmm. He's been there for me from the very start. And when I was uh, ailing, he was there, and he met me, and I said, I'm, I'm not f ready for any relationship, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. he said, um, so it's been a year and past, and he said, you, you need to move, move on, or you move on mm -hmm. to have a better life, he said. And I said, are you sure I have three trophies? <laughs> Your children? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you accept them? Mm. And he said, yes. I don't need a single woman. So Stephen was like your knight in a shining armor. Uh, he was uh, he, he immediately became in love with you for the person that you are. I tell me uh -huh. about it, yes, Cassine. Mm -hmm. He wanted to marry me right away, but I said, mm -hmm. hold on. You know, in the Philippines, but we have this. You could be my suitor for for a year at least. I said. <laughs> so we did that. To right. Hold on. He hold it to follow the tradition. Yes, we, we, he did that. Actually, okay, and we, we finally met, and uh, yes, everything was history. But to summarize, mm -hmm. um, he, yes, we have a minute to wrap up. Yeah. Tell us about your values and how happy you are that you are uh, finally doing your, the things that you're passionate about with your children. Uh, your children are here; they're so wonderful. I'm so uh, proud of them that uh, they too have become a very important part of your success in your business. Yes, I want to thank my children, Matthew, Zarlene, and Lisha, for mm -hmm. being there. Mga anak, you've been helping your mom and your uncle, and um, I appreciate. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I told them. It's not only about being successful, mm -hmm. but it's being a real person to everybody. And they have to value life mm -hmm. instead of, uh, in, in, instead of. Uh, just focusing on the money. Yeah, yes. just focusing and instead of giving up, mm -hmm. um, you have to value your career, your profession, mm -hmm. and the people that you work with and you have to value kids, the hard works that I did for all of you, it's, it's not easy. You mm -hmm. have to value the word humility, and above all, you have to value the words of God. Wow, very powerful ingredients in uh, making uh, a successful life uh, in, in your marriage, uh, of course your extended family, uh, but most of all being a great example to your children by teaching them these wonderful values uh, of life that help to uh, carry you through and also being a very successful um, uh, business owner and uh, uh, giving back being given uh, second chances. And uh, that's what it's all about here, uh, being to be able to uh, enjoy life and to live your American dream. Yes. Yeah. So you're a great example. I salute you for that. Uh, you, I know that you're enjoying uh, your life's passion, and uh, we yes. salute you. Thank you so much. Again, we uh, want to thank you for tuning in to Think Tech Hawaii, our uh, show, Pinoy Power Hawaii. Um, I am your host, Amy Ortega Anderson, thanking you, thanking you once again for joining us with our guest, Leilani Arimbuyo Tantanaka, for sharing with us her very successful and empowering story. So until next time, uh, we aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and empower. Mabuhay and maraming salamat po.